Hello friends of our homestead. In our this week's adventure, we like to show you how far we came forward with our biogas project. Why I was not so happy with our local tractor dealer. And why I only bought this huge pail of lumber. Now I like to show you how I built this filter system for the biogas. We are posting every Sunday a new video on our channel. Because of the size of that biogas project we decide to make a small series out of that project. If you like to see the first two parts of how we built the biogas digester, I put the link for you in the description down below. That's our three pieces of uh, PVC pipe, three quarter inch. They have a length from uh, 10 inch and I drilled a hole right through the pipe uh, an inch up from the bottom. I found these filter housings on Amazon. Um, they are perfect for what I like to use it for. It's a simple, easy solution and it looks way better than if you glue something together out of PVC pipe. You can find the link for their filter housings in the description down below. Look at that arrow on the housing head, it shows you the flow direction, but that is only important if you use that housings for water filtering, but we use that uh, housings for our biogas system, so we go against the flow. A couple fittings from the hardware store, some Teflon tape, that's all we need to put the three filter housings together and make one section out of it. We need a connection for the inlet, we need one connection for the outlet goes to the bladder tank and we need a valve and an outlet that goes to wherever we like to use the gas for.
piece of 2x4 screwed into the frame to support the filter housings. Couple more screws and the housings are in place. That's the hose that goes from the digester to the housings of the filters. The pipe connectors for the storage tanks of the fertilizer water. The 2 inch pipe connectors with 2 inch thread and uh, I used the original gaskets from the plugs of the 55 gallon drums. Screwed hardly in to make sure it's tight cannot remove them anymore if they are glued together. I screwed in the upper plugs with a half inch pipe connector. For the air discharge The drain valve for the fertilizer water. And the engineer liked to take a look of it.
I connect the gas hose coming from the biogas digester to the filter housing. Keep in mind against the flow, not that what the arrow on the filter housing say. It would not work if you do it the other way. I connect the hose in one of the outlets from the filter to the bladder tank. It's a quarter inch clear plastic hose and I use the rest as the outlet that goes wherever I like to use the biogas later. I damaged the top link of my little compact tractor last week. This week I went to the tra local tractor dealer to buy a new one and they really want to charge me $250 plus tax for that little top link. Incredible! For that amount of money I can buy a piece of steel, put it in my vise and file one myself by hand. I found new top links on Amazon, there are only $63 they are category 1 instead of category 0, they are stronger than the smaller ones and in the next video I like to show you how I made that top link shorter. If you need the link to find it, I put it in the description down below. Here you can see the difference between a category 1 and a category 0 top link. It's not only the length, it's the diameter of the material themselves. A week ago we bought a brand new trailer for the farm. The only issue with that thing is the jack for the trailer is too far at the front end. If I leave it where it is, I cannot open the till gate from the side by side anymore. So I have another option to move that a little more in the back. That's a factory made bracket on the trailer. I like to change the setup for that and move the jack from the first one to the second one. That would give me enough play to open the till gate from the side by side. The hay season is coming soon and I like to use the trailer to move the hay from the field into the barn. So I have to change a little the setup and I like to put some 2x4s in the front that the hay bales can't roll alone off the trailer. I went to town to buy two pieces of 2x4x10, uh, cut it in half. And they charged me $35 plus tax. For a piece of lumber, 
Metal is cheaper than lumber right now, so normally I would make that piece out of metal. I definitely have to bring my sawmill back to life. couple tie down straps and the trailer is ready to use for the hay season. For the amount of money I spend for that couple 2x4s I should lock the container and keep them safe. I'd like to give you an update what else was happening on the farm. 13 little duck babies hatched this week. The homemade beaver dam work. and our Toulouse geese are double the size. That's it for this week's video. In the next week's video I'd like to give you an update what's up in the garden. What's up with the bee boxes we bought at the internet? And how and why I changed the hitch from the mini round hay baler at the compact tractor. Thanks guys for watching this week's video. Hopefully we see us next week again and don't forget to subscribe for our YouTube channel.